Welcome to Canada Immigration Matters, your trusted source for all things related to navigating the Canadian immigration landscape. In this video, we'll dive deep into the Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA. We will explore what it is, how it works, and the steps you need to take to obtain one. Whether you're an employer looking to hire a foreign national or a foreign worker seeking to work in Canada, this video will provide you with the essential information you need to understand to navigate the LMIA process successfully. At this point, let's go through the answers to five common questions that many foreign workers have about LMIAs. 1. How does LMIA work and what is an LMIA? A Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA, is a document issued by Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC, assessing the impact of hiring a foreign national in Canada. A positive LMIA indicates that there is no Canadian citizen or permanent resident to fill a position, therefore enabling an employer to hire a foreign national. A negative LMIA indicates that a position should be filled by a Canadian citizen or permanent resident and hence a foreign worker may not be hired for that role in that company. A foreign national cannot apply for an LMIA. Rather, LMIAs are documents that must be applied for by a Canadian employer. Beyond what was described above, LMIAs are documents that, when approved, confirm that the employer can hire a foreign worker. Please, note that a positive LMIA is sometimes called a confirmation letter. Some foreign workers in Canada require a Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA, to work in Canada, while others are LMIA exempt. An LMIA is a document that some employers in Canada need before hiring a temporary foreign worker. This document must be obtained before the foreign national applies for their work permit. It verifies that a foreign worker will have either a positive or neutral effect on the Canadian labor market. After the recent announcement that Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, will be reducing Canada's temporary resident population over the next three years, Many foreign nationals who want to work in Canada may be trying to accelerate their journey to Canada. Note, LMIA-exempt jobs do not require this document for an employer to support a foreign national's work permit application. 2. How do I know if I need an LMIA? Unless eligible for an exemption, employers typically require an LMIA to hire foreign workers. LMIA requirements and exemptions depend on a multitude of factors. In our upcoming videos, we will discuss more about LMIA requirements and exemptions. 3. Why do I need another LMIA to extend my work permit? When a foreign national applies for a work permit in Canada, they must ensure that their LMIA is valid. In other words, Although a work permit can be issued for a longer period than the LMIA itself is valid, the foreign worker's LMIA needs to be valid at the time they apply for a work permit. If a foreign worker's initial LMIA expires but an employer seeks to extend the worker's permit in Canada, a new LMIA will be required before the employee can apply for another work permit or a work permit extension. In addition, when an employer applies for a new LMIA, it is important to understand that Employment and Social Development Canada will begin the assessment process over again and treat the situation as a new application. As part of this new application, EDSC will have the opportunity, if necessary, to ensure there are still no Canadian citizens or permanent residents available to fill the position of a temporary foreign worker. 4. Do I need an LMIA to work in Canada as an entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs do not require an LMIA to apply for a work permit in Canada. However, foreign nationals coming to work in Canada as entrepreneurs must prove that the business they intend to operate in Canada will either create or maintain significant social, cultural, 
Economic benefits or maintain or create jobs for Canadian citizens or permanent residents. 5. How can an LMIA help me obtain more CRS points as an express entry applicant? Although Canadian Experience Class CC, candidates do not require an LMIA to be eligible for this economic immigration program, it may be beneficial for these candidates, and all express entry candidates generally, to still obtain an LMIA from their employer. A valid job offer supported by an LMIA will enable the candidate to get additional comprehensive ranking system points as an express entry applicant. Accordingly, candidates who obtain an LMIA can improve their chances of receiving an invitation to apply for Canadian PR by IRCC. Recent IRCC News About LMIAs In a recent press conference on March 21, 2024, Immigration Minister Mark Miller and Employment Minister Randy Boissonnault announced several changes to Canada's Temporary Foreign Worker Program TFWP. Among these changes, the two ministers announced that the validity period of each LMIA would return to the pre-pandemic standard of six months. This change became effective on May 1, 2024. Before this policy revision, Canada temporarily made LMIAs valid for 12 months during the COVID-19 pandemic. This was a measure designed to help ease labor market conditions across the country. That's all we have for you now. We will continue in our next video on the steps to apply for LMIA. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.